thing. Well, no, it's really just an unboxing of one thing, but I gotta take the potatoes out of the oven. The sweet potatoes. Oh. Fuck, I love sweet potatoes. I'm sure they're bad for you. Pasta's watching this right now, just shaking her head going, sweet potatoes, yuck. But I'm just like, sweet potatoes fucking come. Um, I bought seven sweet potatoes. I baked seven sweet potatoes. I am happy with these seven sweet potatoes. What I'll end up doing is I'll take them all out of their skins, put them in a bowl, mash them, put a little bit of mango juice in there, maybe a touch of brown sugar, just to just to, maybe a little bit of salt too, just to just to just to, and then you put them in the fridge and let them rest overnight. You take them out, put them in the oven, a couple of marshmallows on top. Fuck. Literally broke my um the diet I was on years ago. Wait, I used the knife. That's still playing music. I, I used a knife. I unboxed a fan with the knife. There it is. I removed the fan from the sunroom. I bought that Hunter fan last year, but then I put it on pause because Pasta was like, stop being a peasant and you get some big ass fans for here. And I'm like, you know what? All right. I reached out, wrote a long ass email telling everyone about uh, big ass fans, how I'm a huge fan of theirs and that I have fans all over my house and I'm into audio and a lot of audio files like they want a quiet fan. So why wouldn't I push them towards a big ass fan? And then I never heard back from them. I should have probably sent a second or third or try to reach out on Instagram or something, but that didn't happen. Please don't be titties, 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 please don't be oh, okay. Close enough. Let me shut this off, by the way. We're not in this room at this moment. Anyway, so I ripped the fan off the ceiling on today's stream. I'm putting a Hunter fan in there instead of the fucking Monte Carlo fan. It was a Monte Carlo fan. You know how you could tell it's a Monte Carlo fan? Hold on. That's not making the noise. Dishwasher's done. Okay. I was like, what the fuck's that beep? If I very rarely hear that beep because it's so quiet. Anyway, Apo sent this. Let's try to be gentle with it today. Usually I'm like, I gut it like a fish and it ends up scratching the box. I also got the alert to change the blade on the unboxing knife and you know what? I think it's fucking time. I want to be distracted. I want to go downstairs and do work, but at the same time I don't. Like, you know those days. We've all had those days, right? I think you're my guy. One of you is my guy. Yeah. These are other ones from other places. So, the way you change the blade on this particular um, outdoor edge, a 30 razor light EDC is a little eject button here. And I'm just going to, it's so dull, I'm just going to grab it and pull it out. And there's a little bit of, of goo in here. Like from just me cutting boxes constantly. But now this new one, you don't want to just grab it by the fucking blade. There is a plastic guard over it here that you can touch. I would not be attempting this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to gently wash the unboxing knife the goo. I'm going to get some, some dish soap on the goo. Try to get it the fuck out of there. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's gonna get it out from the actual groove, but just trying to help with insertion. Lube. No one, no one, everyone underestimates the power of lube. Yeah, it's better. Click. Take off plastic. Put that plastic on the old blade, which is so fucking dull, it doesn't even like really need it, but I'm throwing it in the trash. There we go. And then I could, I usually just like find something to like wrap it in, cardboard box or something, just, just so it's not poking out of the thing. So now let's try to cut this again. So I, I got into it. Let's try to go this way with the new blade. We'll see what this looks like. Oh God. Huh. It literally laughed its way out of the, it's literally laughing its way out of the plastic. I don't know why, I, I gotta buy more blades. I think I have one left, but holy shit. 
I could perform surgery with this. That is, that shit's sharp. It's like whale blubber. And then we go and cut tape with it and it ruins it. Cardboard's the worst thing for a knife, you know. Like it's just sandpaper. You're cutting through a very mild sandpaper. Oof. That is an oofta. The fuck is this? I didn't take the box out of the wrapping. Oh, it's here. It's finally here. I finally have an excuse to listen to electrostats again. This is the EHA5 electrostatic. Oh, you know what? That's very big plastic, but I think there's holes. So I have to, nope, there's no holes. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Electrostatic headphone amplifier. And it's like $400. And this is this, I can't, you don't understand. I've been bitching of every time I pull out a fucking electrostatic and I'm like, well, here I'm gonna listen to this electrostatic thing. And you know, electrostatic headphones, the actual ear speakers can cost as little as $400. Every amplifier is $900 or more. And talk for the portable shitty ones. This, this is a representation of something that might actually bring electrostatics back. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like the gold ring. High and low gain, you don't usually see that. And you have balance or single-ended and off. It's as basic as a box of rocks. You've got a 12 volt trigger in, which is an on off switch. You've got a firmware update, USB-C. Your 15 volt DC, oh, it's music. Um, we have caps here on the RCAs but there are RCA and XLR pass-throughs. That's cool. I think they're passed, yeah. They're not labeled, there's just L and R, and I assume that the penises of the thing are, is where the data goes, the male end, penis. That's data out, so this is data in, and this will take a quarter inch also. Dude, this is gonna be, please be sweet. Beefy little fuck too. And we could see inside it. I don't know why we can see inside it because there's not much to see with the transformer in there. So let's look at the actual transformer. That's, oh, that's adorable. Um, I have to read the instruction manual. I like any excuse to let's to get to X. Maybe this, I feel like Topping just ran out of things to make and they're just like, let's just make an electrostatic energizer. I hate, did I mention how much I hate? 147 decibels signal to noise. Okay. Uh, measurement level, total modulus distortion plus noise. It's it's good. It's got good measure. Does this have instructions? Jesus Christ. Input switch, switch RCA XLR, turn off, gain, five output, description, go. Uh, two, two, uh, right channel balance, combo input. That's how you line it up. Total amount of distortion plus noise. I mean, it should tell me the voltage output. I'm more interested in the voltage because it's not a wattage thing on electrostats. It's 580 volts. I want to make sure he does not power on, no sound. LED blinks twice, incorrect firmware version. Uh, I don't see, I guess it won't really be able to tell me how it's going to do. Oh, 700 volts RMS. That seems a little high. Oh, the bias voltage is DC 580 volt. Okay. Output voltage is 700 VRMS and the out bias voltage is DC 580. And the gains and okay. Let's put a waifu on this and listen to some fucking music and potatoes. All right, let's attack these two packages. And go back downstairs, continue doing reviews. I have the most pack schedule of my entire life for the next fucking month, two months, I don't know. Depends on how far you wanna reach out. Um, I guess it'll be two months if you count the UK can jam as a thing. So I did Munich, and then I had several months, like two months to recover from Munich. My father bought me this. It's an Ulanzi uh, VL49 RGB mini video light. He's like, how could you not buy it for $18? And I'm like, very simply, not buy. Um, anyway, so I did Munich, then wait, then the UK can jam, that's fine. And now I'm going, that was, I got back two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago. 
two weeks ago. And then my friend was like, hey, you should come out to Cedia, which is in Denver. And I'm like, you know what? I've always wanted to do Cedia. I signed up as press and like LG is emailing me like, hey, Mr. Z Reviews, would you like to have a private tour of the thing? And I'm like, well, this is gonna be fucking fun. So I got that coming up. Then, uh, let's see, that's this. Then on the 16th, my friend's like, hey, we're having a baby shower out in Ohio. Come out to Ohio. And I'm like, uh, because after the 16th, towards the end of this month, I've got SoCal Can Jam, so that's California. Then I come back from that, and then I have a wedding in, Wa in Virginia, and then after the weekend after that, I've got Harley's wedding, if you know Harley from, she's done some unboxings here. So it's just like, and then that is like my October. Oh, and then we discussed Halloween party, because I think it'd be nice to have a Halloween party. Girls dress up in like weird cat suits, it's amazing. Um, plus I can just have candy, I love fucking candy. Um, so that would be a Halloween party come end of October, then fucking November rolls around, and you know what happens? Capital Audio Fest. It's just, uh, uh, and then Thanksgiving, and I don't have enough people. There's not enough me. There's not enough me to go around. Interesting. Here's a USB-C charger. It's a cute little light. At 5600K, what can I adjust? Brightness. I can't tell if it's getting brighter. Eh, it's a little brighter. So then we're gonna switch over to this. We're gonna go... It says RGB, but I'm not sure if it's RGB. It might just be, yeah, it's just, it's not RGB. It's just uh, two different LEDs. It's got cool LEDs and warm LEDs. So... I literally squinted for the entire time I was doing that. I've got a lot of steps. It literally has 10, every 10, every 10. Jesus Christ. From up to 9K down to what, 3, 2K? 57, 52, 45. So all I can do in the interim is try to hammer out reviews, 2,500. All I could do in the interim is try to hammer out fucking reviews so that when it's time to not be here, which will be all the fucking time. By the way, this unboxing will come out months, months after all of that is done. So it's not like I'm saying, hey, I'm going on vacation tomorrow. I'll leave my door unlocked, blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, fuck, man. I need to find some me time. I gotta find some pasta and me time. I've never, I've, I just don't know, I've never, I've never been popular. So having like to go out and do things is like rare. Got a big old topping box and a fucking waifu, the Moondrop Voyager. Oh, Apo sent this baby. And they were like, hey, you wanna do this uh, neck IM thing? And I'm like, didn't t Moondrop just come out with a neck IM thing? And I looked at it and like, oh, it's a neck IM thing. Like the, like the little white, only instead of having just the neck I am thing, this actually has I am's in it. I love how it looks like a book. I do respect the bookiness of this. Here's our quality control sticker. We'll throw that in the trash. Oh God. See, this is where I don't approve of them making it like super fucking fancy. Cause now look, I gotta like calculate out how to pop these, pop them like it's hot, and then roll them around. And then we could finally take this out. So is this just a little white with a fucking IEM attached? Cause this is a Moondrop little white, essentially. Different wire, single, single wire, but the same strain reliefs. And then a permanently fucking attached IEM. So if you don't like this, I, I mean, this is for the normies. This is basically normie fodder. Because the little white, this thing is fucking fantastic. But now you're forced to use whatever IMs they throw on there. And IMs are so varied. What people want, what people like, what they don't like. So, but, but again, normies don't want to have options. As fucked up as that sounds, well, it sounds very communist, you know, it sounds very, very fucking dictatorship but it's, it's just fucking true. They wanna be like, I bought I, I am things sound. That's it, They're, they stop. 
They're not like, well, I wanted to pick the, we, we, the collective we, probably. This is literally stuck in here. It comes out that far and then it feels like it's like yanking the other end of the thing and it won't open. The collective we, I'm assuming it's just a bag in here. It looks like there's a pass, a bag. The collective we wants to have all our choices, but most people don't. Let's, let's, let's turn this into a, into a, most people don't want choice. Most people want to be told what to do. And I'm the one that's going to tell them. I'm the one who knocks. Anyway, let's put this back in here. I can't really give these any burn in or break in unless I power this externally, connect it to a Bluetooth device and have that stream. It does get a waifu. It might've been a waifu in that packaging, but I mean, that's close enough. Who knows, maybe these are the greatest IMs on earth, which would also piss me off because then I'm like, well, I'd like to power them with something different. Maybe something more exotic than the, than the little white. So it's just like, they don't need to do that anymore. They could have sold bundles. They could have sold little white bundles with a million IEMs that work with the little white. Unless they're doing crazy DS, unless those were active noise canceling, which I don't believe they are, or something else that would take like an advantage of having the IEM come with it. Should I even open up, like see what this is? I'm not even gonna check what it is. We're just gonna rip this thing out. It's the D70 Pro Octo, oh. This has like eight DACs in it. Like it's ridiculous. USB cable, power cable, uh, Bluetooth antenna, unless it's Wi-Fi also. Topping RC15A remote. Don't need to take any of these things out. It looks like it matches the other topping stuff. Yeah, it's the Octo D70 Pro DAC, straight DAC. So you've got your beautiful soft RCA covers on your coaxial, your RCA outputs, your XLR outputs, your AES in, your optical in, your USB in, your Bluetooth antenna, and your triggers in this. So it's time to find out if having Octo DAX makes it a better DAC than not having Octo DAX. I'm literally setting up for the, um, the E70s review right now in the basement. So I'm gonna do the, comp I'm gonna do the amplifier completely separate from the DAC. Because they're not, they're not a tied together like system. Like you don't need one for the other. So now this will have to get shot off against. What? What about it? Come on. Think he sees spirits? Think he sees spirits. <laughs> 